x square minus y square equivalent to 1, 2, 3, 4. x, y are natural numbers. How many values x, y will take? x square minus y square is 1, 2, 3, 4. Method 1. Next is even a rod approach. Speed calculation approach. x square minus y square equivalent to 1, 2, 3, 4. Only I am playing with the unit digit on the left hand side and on the right hand side. Right, unit digit in the right hand side is 4. So what will be the cases? 4 minus 0 is 4. 5 minus 1 it is 4. 6 minus 2 it is 4. 7 minus 3 it is 4. 8 minus 4 it is 4. 9 minus 5 it is 4. 1 minus 7, 10 carried. 11 minus 7, 4. 12 minus 8, 4. 13 minus 9, 4. I hope it is clear. Suppose this is an example. 31 minus 17, 10 carried. It will give 4. 4 is can be obtained if I subtract 7 with 1. 1 will carry carry 10 from the tens place. Any y square is a perfect square. It cannot end with 2, 3, 7 or 8. Any perfect square ending with 4. Tens place will be even. Perfect square ends with even number of zeros. What is even minus 0? Even. Tens place should be even. But tens place is odd. Any perfect square ending with 5. Tens place is 2. 5 square 25. 5, 15 square 225. These also even. What is even minus even? Even. What is the tens place here? Odd. So answer is no value for x comma y exists. No value for x comma y exists. Similarly, 5 also I want you to do on your own in case if you are unable to solve it. Any perfect square ending with 9, tens place is even. A perfect square ending with 5, tens place is 2. What is even minus even? Even minus even is even. But the tens place is odd. So answer is no value for x comma y exists. So these any perfect square ending with 4. Tens place is even. Even minus 0 even. Any perfect square ending with 5. Tens place is 2. Even minus even even. Even minus even even. So according to speed calculation approach, I got the answer as no value for x comma y exists. Method number 2. Please write down. Question is x square minus y square equivalent to 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. x, y are natural numbers. x, y are natural numbers. How many values x, y will take? Method true. Even and odd approach. Even slash odd approach. Even slash odd approach. Now see here. This is nothing but x plus y into x minus y. Let me put the right hand side as a k. If x is even, y is even. x is even, y is odd. x is odd, y is even x is odd, y is odd. So the first case, even plus even is even. Even minus even is even. Am I right? This case, any even number is of the form 2k1. Here also 2k2. Answer is divisible by 4. Even and odd are odd or even. Even number on square, even. Odd number on square, odd. Even minus odd is odd. Odd number on square, odd. Even number on square, even. Odd minus even is odd. Right hand side is odd. Odd plus odd, it is even. Odd minus odd, it is even. Answer is divisible by 4. That means x square minus y square equivalent to k. This will have integral solutions only if, only if k is an odd number. Only if k is an odd number and k is a multiple of 4. x square minus y square equivalent to k. This equation has integral solutions 
only if k is an odd number or k is a multiple of 4. Only if k is an odd number and k is a multiple of 4. Where all cases it is a multiple of 4? x is even, y is even. x is odd, y is odd. What is the divisibility rule of 4? Last two digits should be divisible by 4. 34 is not divisible by 4. So answer for this question is no value. Answer for this question is no value for x comma y exists. Answer is no value for x comma y exists. I hope the idea is clear. X is even, y is even, 1 is. Lowest is when both are even, it is divisible by 4. If both are odd also, it is divisible by 4. 1 even, 1 odd. Even minus odd is odd. Odd minus even is also odd. Now we will draw a conclusion. Till here, x square minus y square equivalent to k. k should be either divisible by 4 or k should be an odd number. These 4, can I write it as 2 into 2 into or 2 into 2 into a or an odd number or an odd number. Very, very important learning. Very, very important learning. Please see here, sir. This is for x square minus y square equivalent to k. If I take x power 4 minus y power 4 equivalent to k, where x, y are natural numbers, this will be x minus y into x plus y into x square plus y square equivalent to k. If x is even, y will be even. If x is odd, y will be even. If x is even, y will be odd. If x is odd, y will be odd. See here, even minus even, 2k1. Even plus even, 2k2. Even square, even. Plus even square, even. 2k1, 2k2, 2k3. Divisible by 8. First case. Odd, odd number on power 4, odd. Even number on power 4, even. Odd minus even, it is odd. Even number power 4, even. Odd number power 4, odd. Even minus odd is odd. Last case, odd minus odd, even. Odd plus odd, even. Odd plus odd, even. Again, it is divisible by 8. That means, again, these equation has integral solutions. Only if k is an odd number and k is a multiple of 8. So, if 2 is there, I got 2 into 2. Am I right? If 4 is there, I got 2 into 4. Let us general conclusion, let us derive it. x square minus y square equivalent to k. It has integral solution only if k is an odd number or it is a multiple of the power, it is 2. x power 4 minus y power 4 equivalent to k. It has integral solutions only if k is an odd number or k is a multiple of 4, 2 into 4, which is 8. Please write down this conclusion. x power 2 power n minus y power 2 power n has integral solutions, has integral solutions only if, only if k is a 2 into 2 power n or k is an odd number. Extremely important key point, please write down. Very, very important key point based upon this example. If it is x power 8 minus y power 8 equivalent to k, these as integral solutions only if k is an odd number or k is a multiple of 8 into 2. So, which is nothing but it should be divisible by 16. Please make a note of it, sir. Very, very important learning x power 2 power n minus y power 2 power n equivalent to k. It has integral solutions 
only if k is an odd number or it is a multiple of 2 into power. Power is 2 power n. x power 2 power n minus y power 2 power n equivalent to k. It has integral solutions only if k is a odd number or a multiple of 2 into 2 power n. Please write down few examples. First example. This is an original cat question. x square minus y square equivalent to 9876543210. When x, y are natural numbers, when x, y are natural numbers, how many values x, y will take? x square minus y square equivalent to k. Already we did this. So, it is actually it takes 5 minutes to solve. But because you know my shortcuts, maximum 10 seconds you can solve this question. We already discussed x square minus y square equivalent to k. These has integral solutions. These has integral solutions. Only if k is an odd number. Only if k is an odd number. Or k is a multiple of 4 k is an odd number or k is a multiple of 4. 10 is not a multiple of 4. So, answer for this question is no value for x comma y exists. No value for x comma y exists. I hope the idea is clear. x power 4 minus y power 4. 7, 8, 3. 4, 5, 2. X and Y are natural numbers. X and Y are natural numbers. How many values X and Y can take satisfying this equation? X power 4 minus Y power 4. Right? Is equivalent to 7, 8, 3, 4, 5, 2. Right? X, Y are natural numbers. Rahul, you are getting confused. I said right hand side can be an odd number. R a multiple of 4. When it will be a multiple of 4? When x is even, y is even. Or when x is odd, y is odd. When it will be an odd number? x is even, y is even. x is odd, y is odd. You are getting confused. Right? Right? If k is an odd number, how it is? No, 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 no. You are understanding. I hope it is clear. K will be an odd number when one is both are even or both are rod. R case, R case, these both are two different. K is a multiple of four. When both are even, it is. When K is an odd number, when it will be an odd number? When it will be an odd number? It will be an odd number when one is an X is even, Y is odd. Or X is odd, Y is even. I hope the idea is clear. Next one. X power 4 minus Y power 4 equivalent to. Right. So, what is the logic? X power 4 minus Y power 4 equivalent to K. This will have integral solutions. This will have integral solutions. Only if K is an odd number. K is an odd number. R k is a multiple of 8. k is a multiple of 8. Last 3 digits should be divisible by 8. 8 5s are 40, 52. 8 6s are 48. Not possible. Answer is no value for x comma y exists. Question. x square ends with 64. x square ends with 64. How many two-digit values? How many two-digit values? How many two-digit values? X takes. X square ends with 64. How many two-digit values? X will take. Now see here. Solution. But before that one concept. Concept. X square. 50 minus X whole square. 50 plus X whole square. 100 minus x whole square. All has the same last two digits. All has the same last two digits. x square 50 minus x whole square. 50 plus x whole square. 100 minus x whole square. Has same last two digits. 
फोर स्क्वायर रीज सिक्सटीन फिफ्टी माइनस फोर फोर्टी सिक्स स्क्वायर रीज टू वन वन सिक्स अगेन सिक्सटीन फिफ्टी प्लस फोर फिफ्टी फोर स्क्वायर रीज टू नाइन वन सिक्स अगेन लास्ट टू डिजिट सी सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड माइनस फोर नाइन्टी सिक्स स्क्वायर अगेन लास्ट टू डिजिट सीज नाइन टू वन सिक्स यू कैन फाइंड फोर्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी फोर नाइन्टी सिक्स वेरी फास्ट दैट आल्सो वी विल डिस्कस वी विल सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन एक्स स्क्वायर एंड्स विथ सिक्सटी फोर एक्स स्क्वायर एंड्स विथ सिक्सटी फोर एक्स लोएस्ट वैल्यू इज एट एक्स लोएस्ट वैल्यू इज एट सो फिफ्टी माइनस एट फोर्टी टू स्क्वायर फिफ्टी प्लस एट फिफ्टी एट स्क्वायर हंड्रेड माइनस एट नाइन्टी टू स्क्वायर फोर्टी टू स्क्वायर रीज सेवेंटीन सिक्सटी फोर फिफ्टी एट स्क्वायर रीज थ्री थ्री सिक्स फोर नाइन्टी टू स्क्वायर रीज एटी फोर सिक्सटी फोर हाउ मेनी टू डिजिट नंबर्स एक्स कैन टेक एक्स कैन टेक फोर्टी टू एक्स कैन टेक फिफ्टी एट एक्स कैन टेक नाइन्टी टू टोटल थ्री वैल्यूज इट कैन टेक I hope it is clear. X square fifty minus x whole square fifty plus x whole square hundred minus x square. This is an example to convey the point. Four square is sixteen. Forty six square. X is four. Fifty minus four fifty plus four. Hundred minus four hundred plus four, and so on. Why I took only these numbers because the next number is hundred plus eight. 100 plus 80 is 116 square, which is 11664. It is not possible. I hope it is clear. Till now we did the square of a two-digit number. Now we will do the square of a three-digit number. Same concept we can use. Type one and type two. Suppose 317 whole square a square. I know the concept that a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. A can be thirty-one, B can be seven. So this is nothing but thirty-one square. Two into thirty-one into seven, and seven square. A is three and B is seventeen. So A is three, B is seventeen. A square. Next is two AB, and next is B square. This is nine. Six seventeen is our hundred and two. Seventeen square is two eighty nine. Here B is taking one digit. Here B is taking two digits. So eighteen nine. Two carried. Hundred and two plus two. Hundred and four. Last two digits is zero four. One carried. Nine plus one is ten. Please write down this point. If B takes K digits. If B takes K digits. All the places. All the places other than the leftmost place, all the places other than the leftmost place, other than the leftmost place, it will have k digits. It will have k digits. That is because you write it as three into hundred plus seventeen square. Zeros will be there at the end. Please write down. Either you can use this method or you can use this method. Thirty-one square solving is a little difficult, so I go with three with seventeen square. A square, two A B and B square. Nine hundred and two and two eighteen nine. Last two digits if I write eighteen nine. Two carried. Hundred and two plus two is hundred and four. So zero four one carried. So answer is one double zero four eight nine. Sir, which method to use depends upon the nature of the number. depends upon the nature of the number for example one more 414 square 414 square can be solved by using 41 with 4 square next it is 4 with 14 square 4 with 14 square is easy compared to 41 with 4 so these a square next is 2ab and next is b square This is sixteen. Fifty-six twos are one one two. Fourteen square is one ninety-six. Write down the last two digits. Ninety-six. One carried. One twelve plus one is one thirteen. Thirteen. 
one carried one seven one three nine six one seven one three nine six a square two a b and b square sixteen one one two one nine six fourteen is the last two digits last two digits ninety six one is carried one twelve plus one one thirteen thirteen one is carried one seven one three nine six now whether should i use this method or should i go with another method write down type 2 171396 write down type 2 another method to find the square of a number type 2 which is a square minus b square a square minus b square is a minus b into a plus b a minus b into a plus b minus b square if it takes to the right hand side a minus b into a plus b plus b square plus b square now see here suppose i want 98 square 98 is nearer to which power of 10 10 square 100 a is 92 b is the difference between 98 and 100 which is 2 98 minus 2 into 98 plus 2 plus 2 square which is 96 into 100 plus 4 9604 9604 what is b here b is the difference between b is the difference between number and assumed base b is the difference between number and an assumed base suppose another example 992 whole square 992 is nearer to 1000 so these 992 minus 8 992 plus 8 plus 8 square which is 984 into 1000 is 3 zeros 8 square is 64 984064 984064 I hope the concept is clear. Ideally, this logic is used when the numbers are closer to, when the numbers are closer to multiples of 10 or powers of 10. Multiples of 10 or powers of 10. When the numbers are closer to multiples of 10 or powers of 10 kindly reply in the live chat if it is clear to you what is what are the two important learnings b is nothing but the difference between number and assumed base b is the difference between number and assumed base 98 98 is nearer to 100 so 98 minus 2 into 98 plus 2 plus 2 square 992 square 992 minus 8 this is the absolute difference between absolute means either 992000 or 1000 and 992 idea clear third example please write down 991 square 106 square 1003 square directly you will get the answer 991 square 106 square 1003 square 991 minus 9 982 1000 is 3 zeros plus 9 square 81 answer is 982081 982081 106 106 plus 6 112 100 is 2 zeros 6 square is 36, 1, 1, 2, 3, 6, another one, 1003 plus 3, 1006, 1000 is 3 zeros, 3 square is 9, answer is 106009, 106009, I hope it is clear, suppose if it is 62 square, base if it is 60, these 62 minus 2, into 62 plus 2 plus 2 square another one if the base is 70 62 minus 8 into 62 plus 8 plus 8 square you solve 
any one you will get the answer 3844 i hope the logic key is clear a square a square minus b square is a minus b into a plus b a minus b into a plus b 991 is nearer to base 1000 so k is 9 it is nearer to 100 base is 6 it is nearer to 1000 base is 3 it is nearer to 60 base is 2 nearer to 70 base is 8 idea clear idea clear 991 square 106 square 1003 square and 62 square 3456 kindly reply in the live chat if everything is clear to you specific techniques please write concept 1 concept 1 Backtracking method. What is this method? This backtracking method will be used for squares of all the numbers, squares of all the numbers till 35. Squares of all the numbers till 35. If you know till 25, it is enough, sir. 19 square 361, 20 square 400. 21 square 441, 22 square 484, 23 square 529, 24 square 576, 25 square 625. See here sir, I want 28 square. Step number 1. 28 is how much far from 25? 3 units far. 3 units back is 22 square 484 because it is 3 units add 300. Answer is 784. 32 square is there. 32 is nearer to 25. How many ahead? 7 units. Go 7 units back. 18 square 324. 7 units is 700. Answer is 1024. 34 square. 34 is how many units ahead of 25? 9 units. Go 9 units back. 16 square 256. 9 units 900. 1156. This backtracking method is used to find the square of all the numbers till 35. 32 square I need to determine. 32 is 7 units ahead of 25. Go 7 units back. 25 minus 7 is 18. 18 square is 324. 7 units add 700. 7 units add 700. 34 square. 34 is 9 units ahead of 25. Go 9 units back. 25 minus 9 is 16. 16 square is 256 plus 900. 31 square. 6 units ahead. 6 units back. 19, 361, 6 units add 600, answer reason 961, these only use it till squares till 35, now what will happen if it is from 35, concept 2, please write down, very interesting concept sir, concept 1, I hope it is clear, concept 2, squares of the numbers from 35 to 75, 50 plus x whole square equivalent to 25 plus x slash x square. x square is a two digit number. What is this? We will discuss the proof. 50 plus x whole square equivalent to 25 plus x slash x square. Proof. Example. 123 is there. I kept a slash before two digits. It is 1 into 100 plus 23. Am I right? Before two digits means slash is kept before hundreds place. 50 plus x whole square which is 50 square plus 2 into 50 into x plus x square which is 2500 plus 100x plus x square which is 25 plus x into 100 plus x square. 
x square is a two digit format before two digits if i keep a slash the value is nothing but 100 am i right before two digits if i keep a slash the value is into 100 before two digits if i keep a slash what is the value it is into 100 please write down sir 50 plus x whole square is 25 plus x slash x square slash x square i hope it is clear 50 plus x whole square is 25 plus x slash x square x square is in a two digit format x square is in a two digit format see here example 59 square which is 50 plus 9 whole square x is 9, 25 plus 9, 34, 9 square is 81, answer is 34, 81. If it is 62 square, 50 plus 12 whole square, x is 12, 25 plus 12 slash 12 square, which is 37 slash 144, last two digits is 44, 1 carried, Answer is 3844. If it is 48 square, 48 square, this will be 50 minus 2 whole square. X is minus 2, 25 minus 2 slash minus 2 square, 23. 4 in a two digit format is 0, 04. I hope the idea is clear. X can be plus or X can be minus x can be plus or x can be minus i hope it is clear 50 plus 59 square x is 9 3481 x is 12 37 144 44 1 is carried 38 44 x is minus 2 25 minus 2 slash minus 2 square which is 2304 2304. Now please write down. 50 plus x whole square. It is nothing but 25 plus x slash x square. x square is a two digit format. How many values x can take? x square can take. How many values x square can take satisfying these equations? How many values x square can take satisfying these equation? Now see here. 50 plus x whole square is 25 plus x slash x square. x square is a two digit format. This is the logic. 50 plus x whole square equivalent to 25 plus x slash x square. This logic is used. For all the numbers, squares from 35 to 75, squares from 35 to 75, that means x value can take 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and so on up to 25. So, which all cases it is possible, let us see. 0 square possible, 1 square 1 possible, 2 square possible, 3 square 9 possible, 4 square 16 possible, 5 square 25 possible, last two digits possible, 7 square 49 possible, two digit numbers all are different, 8 square 64 possible, 9 square 81, 10 square, 10 square is 100. Already we have taken. It is not possible. That means if I take 0 square, 10 square and 20 square, last two digits will be same. These two cases we should not take. 11 possible, 12 possible, 13 possible, 14 possible. If I take 5, 15 square 225, 25 square 625, 15 and 25 cannot be taken. 16 till 19. I hope it is clear. Next one, 21, it is possible. 22, possible. 23, possible. 24, possible. 
how many cases that are possible we will see so total from 0 to 25 26 values are there in that one 10 square not possible 20 square not possible 15 square not possible 25 square not possible so 26 minus 4 22 values it can take these x square can take 22 distinct values i hope it is clear right sir because i want the squares from 35 to 75 i want the squares from 35 to 75 x can go up to 25 x can go up to 25 so from 0 to 25 all the values i gave it to x 0 square is 0 0 0 10 square is 100 0 0 20 square is 400 0 0 if i take 0 square 10 square and 20 square i cannot take 5 square is 25 15 square and 25 square i cannot take i hope it is clear so 10 not possible 20 is not possible 15 not possible 25 not possible from 0 to 25 26 values 24 cases are not possible so what is the answer 22 x square will take 22 values i hope the idea is clear square of the backtracking number square of the number still 35 what are all the concepts that we discussed till now we discussed it till now how to find the square of a two digit number how to find the square of a three digit number using these logic how to find the square of the numbers which are nearer to multiples of 10? How to find out x square ends with 54? Answer is no value of x. Questions based on x square plus or minus y square equivalent to k. I hope it is clear. Then a perfect square never ends with 2, 3, 7 or 8. Then we discussed squares of the numbers till 35. Till 35. Then we discussed from 35 to 75. 